day 16 and everything just feels so good right now I, my body's never been healthier in my life I feel more connected with myself and I just feel this transformation happening quicker than ever and I, th I think that evidence is beginning to show both in my writing and what I'm able to do there in my body I was thinking maybe I'd post some sort of transformation photo but we'll see. I don't know. But there's just this urge to keep going. This will. That despite, like, it, it becomes so obvious that in the mind there's this doubt. And it's part of us, it's part of all of us. Whenever we start something that's more than us, that we can create and build, that that part of the mind is just, is just activated. And it says, it says, don't do this. You know, what, what you're doing isn't good enough. People aren't going to like you. This, this is going to fail. And once, once it's observed, then we can begin to take power over it. And it was the same thing when I was, when we, when we were hiking the trail. And that every day we'd wake up and the body would be sore, the legs would be tired. And we didn't know if we were gonna make it that day to where we needed to be. And some people would, wouldn't make it. And that's, that's the tough part about it, but they'll be back. And just because we fail once doesn't mean we're, we're gonna keep, we're gonna stay laying down. But despite that, that voice in our head, it's just one taking that one step, that next step, whatever that is for us. And I find the same thing true in my writing, that every day I look at it and I say, this isn't, this isn't good. People aren't gonna like this, this is going to fail. And it's the same thing every time. Every day I wake up, it doesn't change. But despite it being there, once it's identified and labeled as basically nonsense, then we can begin to allow that fuel to empower us. And maybe that noise is, or that voice is society or, or our culture being implanted in us because I don't know if we had that voice when we were kids because when we were kids we didn't care what people thought about us we just played and drew and created stuff and I think this whole process is just learning to become that again and that whenever we do something that's slightly different slightly out of the norm that we will be attacked in some way um, doubted but that's just part of it and maybe if we call it doubt, 
then we're giving it power. And doubt's really just an illusion. That if the doubt exists inside of us, then we're just going to see that doubt when other people speak to us about our situation. But I personally, I can tell that I haven't removed all that doubt yet, but I've identified it. And I can, I can just see that every day I wake up and it's a new day. That that doubt isn't there any longer from the day pre prior. That when I wake up, that doubt is inside me. And it's beginning to leave just as I just start. I just, if we just start, then this process of letting go of, of doubt and it just leaves. And we can begin. And so no matter what others are saying to us or what more importantly we're saying to ourselves, know that that's just the mind. It's the mind tricking us, it's playing games, and it knows that th this is uncomfortable for it, and that we've been conditioned to just do the same things for the most part every day. And when we open ourselves up to a state of creativity, every day is different. There is no more Monday. There's no more Saturday. There's no more weekend. Every day is a Monday. Every day is a Saturday. Every day is a Wednesday. It doesn't matter anymore. And it allows us to become more focused on what we truly want to do. Or rather, what we have to do. And it allows us to shed distractions. such as the mind telling us that we're not good enough or that we can't do something because that's not the case. We can do it and we will. It just takes time, one step at a time. Day 16. Bye-bye.